kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this new YouTube API uh, using the YouTube Data API series. And in this video, this will be the part three of the videos. And in this video, we are going to continue and write the code for our main activity. All right. So before that, I forgot to add the YouTube Player API also inside our build dot gradle file so how you can do that so you have to open and write youtube player jar and here we have to write android all right and there you will be able to see this youtube android player api download so you have to download this zip file so you can download it and then after it is successfully download it all you have to do it just you have to just copy it into your libs folder all right so after you copy it into your libs folder then you can just paste it and you can okay so here we can see we have to go to libs and this is the youtube android player api we just have to extract it let's extract it to our desktop and then here what we can do youtube data api where it is okay so here it is so we just have to copy it and we have to open and we have to go to our project view then here we have to click on app and here inside this lips we can just paste it so you have to paste here and press ok so now you can see this a YouTube Android Player API dot jar file is inside your lib folder. So you have to revert back to your Android view, and then here at the last you can write implementation files, and here we can write libs slash, and here we can write YouTube Android Player API dot jar all right so now we have to click on sync now so that this default this library or this jar file is successfully added to our project okay so after this project is added so now we have to do an important thing that is required if we are using the the butter knife library so here we have to specify the source compatibility to the java version 1.8 so there after this uh, build where is the build types okay sorry so here inside our build dot gradle so after this uh, build types here we have to write compile options and here inside this we have to write source source compatibility java version dot version 1 slash 8 then we have to use the target <coughs> sorry guys okay then here we can have to use the java version 1.8 and yes okay so now we have to press the sync now again and after this now we are ready to write our source code and uh, I mean write the code for our main activity dot Java so before that let's add some uh, some of the packages here because we have I want to teach you that how you can divide your uh, source code into different packages so that it is easy for you to open and understand the flow of your application so here I am writing a the new package name and this new package name we can write adapters then here I have to click on new package and for this I can write activities then again I can write new package and here we can write retrofit then we can write utils okay and many other things so also we can write fragments 
okay so now here inside this retrofit we have to create a file and we have to create a new java class and we have to name it as api client all right and here we have to specify the base url and write the code for the uh, for the api client so that we can connect the retrofit with it so for this we can write public static string and here we have to write base url it will be https www.googleapis.com slash youtube slash version 3 slash all right this will be our base url in, in case if you do not understand what is it so you can write here youtube data api android okay and here we have this youtube data api and for now this you can say okay so okay so i think there are a lot of code here but i think we have to okay so i will explain you later so here after this the base url what we are going to do is we are going to use and, and write the class as the singleton class so here we can say public static retrofit and we can create the retrofit object we can say it to be null then we can say public static retrofit and here we can write get api client All right, and it this method should re, uh, return as the retrofit object. So for this here, we can check if the retrofit object is equal to null. Then we can say JSON JSON equal to new JSON builder, and here inside this builder we can say set lenient, and then we can say dot create. Okay. If in case if you do not want if you in case you do not understand what is it you just have to follow me okay step by step because it is very easy and at the end of the video series you will learn everything all right so here now we can say retrofit equal to new retrofit dot builder and here we can write base URL and in here we have to pass on our base URL here all right and then we have to use add converter factory so here inside this we can say json converter factory dot create and in here we have to pass on our json object and finally we can say dot build all right and after this if it is equal to null and then if it is equal to null then we can say return retrofit all right so that is the source code for our api client so now what we are going to do all right so now we are going to write the code for our api interface but we can do that later all right so there first of all we have to write the code for our xml part of this tutorial so for the xml here we have to use uh, a toolbar then we have to use a view pager and then the bottom navigation view so here we can say let me check okay it is the relative layout fit system windows true okay so here we can use the relative layout and here i have to remove the text view so first of all we okay so before that let's go to your values and click on styles and here we have to use the no action bar and here we can say we have to use a toolbar so it will be match parent and wrap content then we can set the id to toolbar and then we can say background it to be colored primary all right and text uh, title text color and it will be white okay 
then after this we are going to use the view pager and, be, be, and before this we have to use some other like we have to use the elevation or I think we can do uh, it is not necessary so after this toolbar we have to use the view uh, view pager library so this view pager library where we can say match parent and match parent then here we have to use below it should be below the toolbar so there we can say toolbar and here we have to set the id as view pager all right then finally we have to use the bottom navigation view so here we have to use the bottom navigation view and let me just minimize it here and then we have to use like match parent and the height of it will be wrap content then after this we are going to use the id and it will be bottom navigation and so here we have to use uh, above so it will be above the bottom navigation all right so it now it is having problem but uh, don't worry then here inside our uh, inside our bottom navigation view we have to use align parent bottom and it will be true and now you can see that we have the view pager here we have toolbar view pager and the bottom navigation view okay then here what we are going to do gravity okay so i think the layout gravity is not working so for the background here we can say color primary then we can say app item icon tint and it will be color white and that's it all right so now we have the main activity here so now we first of all have to bind those views like the toolbar view pager and the bottom navigation view so here we have to open our main activity and before that let's just copy the toolbar so here with the usage of the butter knife library we can say bind view and here we can pass r dot id dot toolbar and we can create the toolbar object make sure that you have to choose this toolbar android x dot app compact dot widget all right after this what we have we have the view pager so here we can say we just copy the view pager id and here we just can say bind view r dot id dot view pager and here we can say view pager view pager object all right then finally we have the bottom navigation view so for this we can say bottom nav and here we can use bottom navigate navigation view btn view all right so now we have all these things and here in order to initialize the button knife so we can say button knife dot point and we have to pass on this all right guys so here after we are done with the bottom navigation view and also there are some things which i have forgotten to add and here we have to use another thing and that is the item text item text color and it will also be white then we have to use the label visibility mode and it will be labeled and then we can say app menu and we have to select a menu so for this we can say menu slash menu bottom all right so for the menu uh, we have to create the the menu so here we have to write and so okay so here we can create new and android resource directory here we have to select the menu and press ok so after you press ok here we can add the new menu resource file and menu bottom we can name it all right and after this what we are going to do is we are going to use here we have the item and its title will be videos 
its icon will be let's pause my mip map ic launcher and the id will be videos id and we have to close on the item then similarly for the second item we can say title it will be playlist and then we can also can set the id as mip map launcher and we set the id as playlist id all right so this is our bottom navi navigation view i mean the menu and i think now everything is fine and yes now we have to go to our uh, what we can say okay so now we have to we have these two things so you can see we have the videos here and we have the playlist here all right so now we have to write the code for the main activity but before that we have to write the code for our adapter so here we okay so now we can do that in our next part i mean the part four of this video series so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye